In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite passing concepts for the bunch tight end formation in Madden 21. This concept is going to help you beat main coverage as well as zone coverage. It's going to be a nice little concept that you can really take advantage of when we talk about spacing of the field, attacking multiple aspects of the field. It's a great concept. I can't wait to dive into it. Now, if you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my name is Cody, and my channel is all about helping you become the best Madden player that you possibly can be through sharing with you different offensive and defensive tips every single day right here on the YouTube channel. And so if you have not hit the subscribe button yet, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that I have here on my YouTube channel. Now again, we're talking about the bunch tight end today, and if you have not already gotten my full bunch tight end offensive guide, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to that. That is my full gun bunch tight end offensive scheme, uh, which you can get for literally just uh, 15 bucks. It's available uh, in the description there for you, so if you wanna pick that up, um, there you go. Now, today we're talking about the bunch tight end, and we're talking about a very interesting way that you could run the play uh, tight end corner, okay? Now, this is a, a another motion snap. It's a little bit different than some of the snaps that we've been using in the past, but this is a really good concept um, specifically for a situation where you are wanting to attack kind of the right sideline um, or the right seam. That's really where you're wanting to get to on this play. So what I like to do as far as the setup goes is I'm just going to go ahead and streak my, my X receiver, which is my tight end. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna motion, so I'm gonna go to a cover three here. I'm gonna motion the circle receiver to the right, and I'm gonna snap him kind of right in here. And what you're gonna notice is that this corner route is super glitchy on the right side. You see that it's just a, it's a it gets in a really interesting position. And that's what's really cool about it. So let's say for example, they're running 25 yard, um, let me go to cover three real quick. And let's say they're running 25 yard cloud flats. So if they're running 25 yard cloud flats, again, we're just running this setup. Again, you're just gonna get him all the way out here to the sideline. And it's literally just a nice little quick dot. You see that right there? It's a nice little quick dot. And it gets you about, um, and it'll get you about 15 yard, 10 to 15 yards. So you'll see here, I'll show it to you again. This is gonna be against cover four. But again, the, the trick is you wanna get him all the way to the sideline and kind of snap it like right there. And you see this little, you see kind of where he gets to. It's a very interesting little spot. Now the pass lead is actually really important. You're just basically trying to get him away from the coverage. But essentially what's gonna happen is if you get him over here enough and get him delayed, you can hit this, it's just like a little quick out. You see that right there? It's just like a little quick out play. Um, it'll get you about, I think it's gonna get you about seven to 10 yards every single time. Now let me show you another another thing that they might do. So let's, let's press out of a cover four. Cover four to me is gonna do probably the, the best job. Cover three is not gonna be able to stop this. Um, this is gonna be a really, really good route for cover three. But you see here, just hard right pass lead. You see he was able to get back on the ball a little bit there. So that's just something that you you know, you know have to have to be a little bit mindful of with this. Is like, if they're in the outside quarter zone, um, they might be able to get out there. But I wanna share with, I'm gonna share with you a couple things about that here in just a moment. But it's like a low ball, it's like a quick, little quick play. Um, now if you wanted to, Again, if you wanted to play with kind of where you're snapping this guy, if you snap him, like, let's say you snap him like right here. Now he's got a little bit more space to run on the sideline, as you can see right there, and he's gonna get in a, a unique position. The other thing is, depending on what hash mark you're on, typically as a general rule, you wanna run this bunch tight end to the left side of the field. Um, in this case, you could make a little bit of an exception. So, for example, let's say that the ball was over here, okay? Let's say the ball was over here. Now I'm gonna have a lot more space to be able to run. So that's, in this example, that's where I would snap him kind of right here, give him that really a good amount of space to be able to run on that sideline. And as you can see, it's a, it's a nice little read against the cover, uh, the cover four. Now, the other thing is, let's talk about, let's talk about Tampa two real quick. So it's Tampa two with like 25 yard cloud flats. Uh, this is another thing that you're gonna see so if you watch this route, again, this is where I would suggest snapping it kind of right in here, but you will see it's more of a low ball. And, and right there, I threw it way too late. But it's more it's more of a low ball against Tampa 2. So it's kind of like the same kind of thing if you're running it, if you're running them all the way to the outside. But basically, 
you'll see Aaron. I mean, if you're on the wide side of the field, you got a lot more space. That's the cool part. So you can really get him out here. Um, and you see right there, see how he gets underneath it? That's what I like about that route. You can really pass lead that, especially if you have a gunslinger quarterback. You can pass lead that route open, and you can use it on both hashes. You don't have to be necessarily to one or the other to be able to beat a coverage with that corner route. Now, this being said, let's say that they were to run, um, let's say they were to run man coverage on you. You'll see that if even with the route tech, it's just not going to beat man. If they run man, they got you beat. Okay. The bottom line is if they run man coverage on that route, they've got you. Okay, it's just it's just that simple. Um, you can even I mean even if you wanted to do something like this where you don't smart route it, you'll see here um, he does do a little better job. But I would just say if you see man, that's where you're gonna want to go ahead, and that's why I like to put the the running back on an option route because that's gonna kind of hedge my bet a little bit against man coverage. So we know that the running back option route is super glitchy and super effective against man. So we're just gonna work with that. So if we see man coverage, okay, we're just gonna take the option route. That's one piece. The other, the other part of this, we haven't talked about the left side of the field yet. What I would recommend on the left side of the field here is putting the square receiver on a hard, uh, like a flat route so that he gets outside really quickly. And then what's gonna happen is he's gonna pull the zones out of the way for you. So. They're going to put so much attention over here to this left side, but they're not thinking about the fact that look at what you have over here. Or they're going to look at the right. Look at what you have on the opposite side. You have a nice little flood concept. So let's say they're running cover three, okay? If they're running cover three, and this is considering the, the, the Mabel coverage, so here they're going to have you know, just a simple hard flat, but look at what you have. You have this nice little corner route over on the left side that you're going to be able to consistently be able to hit against that cover three coverage. The other thing that you're going to have is let's say that they run the let's say that they run, you know the 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 cloud flats at 25 yards against that cover three. Then what you're going to also see here is you know you just have that flood. You can take either one. The other thing that's really cool about this play is man coverage on that left side. That corner route is typically I would have Devonte Adams in that position, so it would be a lot easier to beat man to man coverage from that. But if I don't have even even if you don't have Devonte Adams. Um, as long as that corner doesn't have one step ahead, you're typically going to, of course, as I say that I get beat, um, you're typically going to be able to hit that on the cut. Uh, most most times, uh, you'll be able to hit that on the cut. Let's show you this here real quick. Tight corner on the cut. And, of course, I guess you just need a route tech there then. Um, so just put your best route running. You just need route running. So, like, if you're in mutt and you have 90 route running in that position, um, you're going to be fine. If you're in regs, just put your best route runner there because you don't need the route running for the other route. That's more of what I'm looking for. As you see right there, it does beat man. It just sometimes, um, it just it, it's one of those things where it's like if you don't have the best route running in the world, it's a little bit of a 50-50 position. Whereas if you have good, consistent route running, um, this is going to be easy for you to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage with. Now, the next thing that I want, the last thing that I wanted to hit on is um, a little bit of a, a little bit of a, tactic for what a lot of people will do out of this formation especially if you're if they are running cover threes with so what what they'll do is they'll put these outside quarters on the field and the reason they're going to do that is because they want to be able to stop pa boot over well what's going to happen is if they put those outside quarters on the field but they play a cover three this tight end streak is really really good up the seam you're going to see here that basically you can just split them as you can see right there and it's going to be you know if that's mutt that's probably a one play touchdown even in regs it is as well so as you can see it's a really really good beater right up the seam this also does pretty good against cover three it's not as good um but let me show you this play against cover three so if they just run stock cover three here you're going to see that you've got a very nice little window that you can hit that tight end up the seam so if they're working more to the left side with their user, that tight end seam route is really, really good. Really against any coverage, but uh, specifically against, you know, against against that. So that's the beauty of this is that you now you still can have a corner route on that right side, but you also have this nice little tight end seam route that you can hit pretty consistently. So uh, this Bucks tight end is really, really good, and it's probably my favorite way to play this year because it's so simple and it has some very, very powerful passing concepts, only from a collection of about seven to 10 plays, but they're super, super powerful. So if you wanna get my full Gun Bunch tight end offensive ebook, 
I'm going to leave a link in the description, but that, that ebook will be available down below. It gives you everything you need to know about Bunch Tight End and how to execute it at a very high level. Uh, this is the offense that I ran in tournaments uh, in, the, in the Madden Classic and did fairly okay for my first Madden Classic. So um, if you want to get that Bunch Tight End ebook, that is available in the description. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, you can always hit me up via text message. My number will be down below. It's also in the top right of every video that I do. Thanks for watching. And once again, if you want to get that bunch tight end offensive ebook, it's available in the description.